we're coming to the final stages of the project, the last couple of days. To see the paintings um, in such an improved condition and to um, have the public coming through and seeing them as we're working and to appreciate them more is just a, it's a really um, sense of achievement. From a personal perspective, uh, it's been a very momentous project. Um, within the team we've had three weddings and two babies. One of those weddings and one of those babies is mine. Um, and from a professional point of view, it also feels quite momentous to be coming to the end of a, a three-year project uh, so satisfyingly. The biggest sense of achievement I feel is looking at the paintings now and seeing them better for the first time and seeing a unified whole. Uh, the cracks are no longer there and it, it feels like a, a single solid painting again. I think the most pleasing aspect of this project has been the collaborative uh, nature of it with the curators and the collections care management leading it uh, ourselves as conservators, the University of Cologne doing the research. We're hoping that the focus of attention on these paintings resulting from this conservation project particularly will draw attention to Daniel McLeese, the artist, and show how incredibly creative and inventive he was. It's like meeting a person. I met Daniel McLeese and his painting and I'm so um, happy to have had this chance to get so close to the paintings and spend so many hours in front of them discovering detail above detail and now we close to finish the project it's like leaving a good friend behind but I, I hope I'll come back one day and see the paintings from a close distance again. When the scaffolding is all down one of the senses of pride that we'll have is um, being able to look at the paintings and not necessarily see what we've done, we'll just feel that the paintings are how they should be rather than any changes that we've made. I was absolutely amazed to come in this morning and see the paintings in this incredible new condition. Um, the, the amount of detail that's readily visible now is stunning. They're monumental in scale, but they're also filled with incredible detail. Looking here at the, the Waterloo and above and beyond the figurative elements in the paintings, the tragedy of war is laid bare. What we can see now I think is so much more of how much effort McLeese put into getting accuracy. If we look at this soldier here he's got a tourniquet on his arm and this tourniquet is what the British Army used for many years but they'd only just introduced it at Waterloo so we know he knows about the very cutting edge at that time technology that was being used on the battlefield. McLeese is not just capturing the frontline troops but actually the whole panorama of a battle and if we look we can see there are actually quite a number of women. This woman in a uniform is a cantonier and you can see she even has her baby with her on her back and she's dispensing food and drink to the wounded and soldiers on the battlefield, absolutely essential service. I think the idea of the paintings, which is to show the human condition during battle with injured and, it's, and the, the awfulness of, of war, both in the naval context with Trafalgar painting and also with Waterloo, is absolutely a, an attempt to show some of the realism of, of, and the suffering. I think they are fascinating. I think the detail in them means you can wander into the Royal Gallery at any time and look at any particular part of the painting. A never-ending canvas, if you like, and, and wonder and think about and research and learn about 
some of the things which are going on. There's so many things happening in the painting. After the completion of this conservation program, I think people are less likely just to walk past these paintings. I think they're more likely to stop and stare and enjoy the qualities of the paintings and the information contained in them. And Maclise will finally reap that uh, reward for all of his efforts in terms of being recognized as a great artist of his period. Over the last two years, we've really grown to appreciate the skill of the artist. Using water glass as a technique for the first time, it's amazing how well these paintings have survived over the last 150 years. And the next 150 years, they will continue to survive in the state they are now.